It's, um, it's the 1st of June 2018, at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm on to another little project. <laughs> um, Bev came back from a function at the university at the, uh, the end of a course that they were running, and they'd served food in uh, these things here. So uh, the food was in this plastic tray with different you know, salads and whatnot in the compartments and then it over the top of it it had a plastic cover to obviously you know keep it from stuff falling down and human smells getting on it and they were going to throw them away and they said no don't throw those away I'll take them home we might be able to use them um, and that's where I had a, had a look at them and I thought hang on what I could do is because I've been wanting to make a tray a wooden tray so what I've done is I've cut these slats and I'm hoping to fit them into the slots on the edges here there's, a, there's a, a, a slot going down there all the way around so I'm hoping to make the tray with its edges to slot into that and so you'll be able to carry this around and it'll have a cover to go on top of it so if you go on a picnic or if you're catering or something this will be a, a good way of just carrying a whole lot of dishes you know uh, I don't know salads and olives and whatnot in, in the different compartments so I have begun by cutting some of these slats uh, and I'm going to start making the tray now and it's, it's going to take quite a bit of uh, sanding and whatnot to get it to fit into this narrow slot so I'll show you how it goes from there okay show you where I'm up to what I've done is I've cut these slats and if you have a look at the end of it there's a sharp edge on them I've made I've cut a, an edge onto it so these slats will sit on this bit of plywood here like this on the edges so you know four of them etc but they don't go all the way to the ends there's a gap there's a gap there you see so they don't go so I have to screw them down fairly well and then this one goes here and then those sharp edges actually um, go into this underneath this rim of the tray so the tray will sit it's probably going to fall over now but anyway you know what I mean the tray will sit with the those edges underneath there and it sits flat on the board because it's the right height so <laughs> you can see uh, see how things are going at the moment is everything's flopping around so I have to I'll have to work out a way of um, holding them in place and making sure that it's it's going to fit and then what I'm going to do is if you see these corners here eventually when I've got it all fixed I'm going to round these corners off to make them a little bit neater um, you can't have a, a round edge here because um, otherwise the slot the slots rounded you'll see so you can see how the slot goes around uh, goes around the corner like that so my edges only come up to about there so wish me luck um, I got myself into uh, something else quite by accident. Okay, it's Saturday, <coughs> Saturday the 2nd of June, and um, I've mocked up uh, my little tray that I'm making by just sticking down the edges down with a bit of masking tape. And the idea being that I could then, you know, it's pretty tricky to see whether the things can work. So here's the uh, Here's the tray I'm trying to match up with it. You can see it's, it's the top clips down on the bottom. So I'll just take the top off, and put it aside there for a minute, and then I'll show you what I, what the intention is. This groove along the bottom here is supposed to sit on those sharp edges like that. Now, unfortunately, this particular tray is a bit warped. So what I can do with that is I can actually just put it on a hot surface just to flatten it out, but it works pretty well. The edges correspond to the sharp edges of the edges of my wooden tray, and then this here fits over quite well. It sort of clips down on top of the plastic. So it looks like I've got the measurements right. Now the next step is to screw and glue these down and then finish it off by rounding the corners. And then I'm wondering if I should paint it. I'm going to paint it, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what colour yet, so next time you'll find out. I bought all of these hand clamps. They're just like scissors, you squeeze them. Um, and I wondered why I ended up with so many of them. I think they were dirt cheap. But um, I've now clamped, clamped them along the edge of this 
of the side I'm gluing down. I've taken the masking tape off and I've glued them down and have to wait for them to dry and then I'll screw them so I can, I can actually get them in place with the masking tape and uh, as, as you'll see the back one there I've, I've glued that back one and the masking tape's off so um, yeah just a bit of fun a regiment of clamps okay so I'm still making the tray uh, which goes underneath those disposable plastic food serving things and I've now rounded the corners you can see I've rounded them and I've smoothed the whole thing off it's now also screwed down it's screwed down very firmly on the bottom so I uh, both glued and screwed and now the next step is I'm going to put a wood primer on this and then later on I've got this idea that I might want to design my very own coat of arms to go on there just for fun so next step wood primer it's the 8th of June now and uh, this is where I am with a tray I've painted the back this dark green and now and I've I've designed a <laughs> It's a bit of a, a game I'm playing. It's a, I'm designing a coat of arms. Got a kangaroo on the one side and a springbuck on the other side, and it'll have something on the shield. So what I've done is I've cut it out of paper and glued it on, and I'm going to spray over that, and then I'm going to remove that and paint it in. Here we go. The next phase of the tray. I've now coloured this like a dove grey colour, and you remember underneath it was green and the edges are still with the primer on them and um, I stuck down my my um, coat of arms with a springbuck and a kangaroo and I'm going to do the middle uh, paint the middle in and now my next job is to I'm going to use this painters masking tape and I'm going to mask these areas and I'm going to this edge I'm going to spray another color then I'll be ready to do painting on here so that's the next phase of the tray Okay, so you can see that I've masked the top and I've masked the bottom because I want I wanted the edges to be this sort of purple color. So I've just sprayed the purple color and uh, it's already had its second coat. So I think it's covered enough. So I'm letting it the paint dry overnight. Uh, I've got the fan here, you see, so I can run the fan and that takes all the fumes out of the workshop and so um, the next thing will be to take off all the masking and see what it looks like you remember that I painted the edges of the tray last time you saw I painted them funky purple color and then the bottom is green and then the, the base the inside base is gray with the coat of arms on the middle this is the tray so my next job is to work on on the inside of the shield to do some symbols in here. I'm going to leave the two silhouettes of the springbuck and the kangaroo. I'm going to leave them as silhouettes. Okay, it's all done. Today is Saturday the 15th of June and the tray is done and I've invented a new cocken coat of arms. Um, the green pattern is actually the coat of arms of a place called Grui in eastern Norway. And the sawtooth represents um, the Finns who settled there and practiced slash and burn agriculture.